You probably know the atomic bomb changed the world forever. It's one of the most powerful and terrifying inventions in history. But beyond the big dramatic moments we hear about, the mushroom cloud, the political tension, there's a whole side of science behind the bomb that most people never talk about. This secret science isn't about explosions or destruction. It's about ideas, discoveries, and even mistakes that help shape one of the deadliest weapons ever made. Today, I'm gonna to share with you 10 surprising scientific facts about the atomic bomb that you probably never heard before. These stories make the history and science of the bomb way more interesting and human than you might expect. 10. The role of neutrons was a huge surprise. When scientists first started exploring nuclear reactions, they focused on protons and electrons, the particles that make up atoms. But it was neutrons that became the real game changer for the bomb. Neutrons don't have an electric charge, so they can slip into atoms much easier than charged particles. This ability made them perfect for triggering nuclear reactions, like splitting atoms apart. The key moment came when physicists realized that hitting certain atoms with neutrons could cause those atoms to split, or fission, releasing massive energy and more neutrons. This started a chain reaction that could grow quickly and powerfully. Without neutrons, the whole idea of an atomic bomb wouldn't have worked. It's amazing to think that this tiny particle, which was hard to even detect, held the secret to releasing unimaginable energy. 9. Uranium-235 is super rare and hard to separate. You've probably heard that uranium was important for the bomb, but what's less known is how rare the specific uranium used for the bomb actually is. Natural uranium is mostly made of uranium-238, which can't sustain the chain reaction needed for a bomb. The really important type is uranium-235, and it only makes up about 0.7% of natural uranium. The problem was how to separate that tiny fraction from the rest. This turned out to be one of the biggest technical challenges. Scientists and engineers had to develop incredibly complex methods, like gaseous diffusion and electromagnetic separation, to isolate enough uranium-235. This process took a lot of time, money, and effort. And it was so secret that few people even knew it was happening. Without mastering this separation, the bomb would never have been possible. 8. The bomb relied on physics that were still being discovered in the 1930s and 40s. Nuclear physics was still a very new science. Scientists were learning about atoms, particles, and radiation. But many things were still unknown or debated. The idea of splitting an atom to release energy was only proven in the late 1930s. And even then, how to control and sustain that reaction was a mystery. When the bomb was being designed, physicists were actually working on the edge of knowledge. They had to make educated guesses about how materials would behave, how neutrons would interact, and how much energy would be released. Some parts of the bomb's design only became clear after experiments and trial and error. This mix of cutting-edge science and uncertainty made the project feel like a huge scientific adventure, with success far from guaranteed. 7. Plutonium was discovered. Because of bomb research, plutonium is one of the key materials in atomic bombs, but it wasn't discovered until the Manhattan Project, the secret U.S. program to build the bomb. It's actually an element that doesn't occur naturally on Earth in useful amounts. Scientists created plutonium by bombarding uranium-238 with neutrons inside nuclear reactors. What's fascinating is that plutonium was almost unknown before the bomb project. It was a brand new element, and its properties had to be studied quickly to figure out if it could be used in a weapon. The discovery and production of plutonium showed how the bomb pushed science forward in unexpected ways. Suddenly, researchers were not just uncovering secrets of the atom, but creating entirely new materials in the process. 6. The implosion design was a brilliant breakthrough early bomb designs tried to use a simple method called gun type to bring two pieces of uranium-235 together to start a chain reaction. But this method didn't work with plutonium because it has different properties. So scientists had to invent a completely different design, implosion. Implosion involves surrounding a plutonium core with explosives that all explode inward at the same time, compressing the core and starting the nuclear reaction. This was an extremely complex and precise task because the timing of the explosives had to be perfect. 
The implosion design was a brilliant engineering solution that allowed the bomb to be smaller and more powerful than originally imagined. Without this invention, plutonium bombs might never have worked. 5. Scientists had to solve a problem called pre-detonation. One of the biggest fears during the bomb's development was something called pre-detonation. This is when a chain reaction starts too early, before the bomb is fully assembled, which would cause a much weaker explosion or even ruin the bomb. The problem was caused by stray neutrons or impurities in the material that could accidentally trigger the reaction. To solve this, scientists had to purify the uranium and plutonium to an extreme degree and design the bomb so the chain reaction would only begin at the exact right moment. This required a lot of testing and clever chemistry. It's an example of how the secret science behind the bomb was not just physics, but also material science and engineering. Four, the bomb's energy comes from mass being converted to energy. You've probably heard of Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared. This means energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. It's the secret science behind the huge power of the bomb. Inside the bomb, when atoms split, a tiny bit of their mass disappears and turns into energy. The amount of energy released is enormous because the speed of light squared is a huge number. Even though the missing mass is tiny, the energy produced is massive enough to destroy cities. This connection between mass and energy was a revolutionary idea at the time. The atomic bomb was one of the first real-world applications of Einstein's theory, showing just how science and physics can reshape the world in powerful ways. 3. The chain reaction is like a super-fast domino effect. At the heart of the bomb's explosion is a chain reaction. Imagine a row of dominoes falling one after another. In the bomb, one atom splitting releases neutrons, which hit other atoms, causing them to split and release even more neutrons. This happens incredibly fast, in less than a microsecond. Because the neutrons move so quickly and cause more atoms to split, the energy builds up extremely rapidly, resulting in the massive explosion. Controlling this chain reaction was the biggest scientific challenge. The bomb's power depends on making the reaction go super fast and not stopping halfway. This domino effect idea is simple but powerful. It's a perfect example of how a small action can lead to a huge outcome when multiplied millions of times in a fraction of a second. Two, the bomb needed precise timing and coordination. One of the least talked about parts of the bomb science is just how much precise timing it required. For the chain reaction to explode with full force, everything had to happen at the exact right moment. The explosives that compress the plutonium core have to detonate simultaneously. Neutrons need to be released at the right instant. Even tiny delays or differences in how materials were arranged could cause the bomb to fail or be less powerful. This level of precision pushed technology forward. Scientists and engineers developed special detonators and timing systems that worked perfectly under extreme conditions. The bomb was as much about careful control and timing as it was about raw power. One, the Manhattan Project was a massive secret science experiment Finally, the atomic bomb was not just about science, it was about people, politics, and secrecy. The Manhattan Project was the largest secret science experiment ever done, involving thousands of scientists, engineers, and workers across multiple sites. What's surprising is how many unknowns they worked with. They didn't have all the answers going in. Many of the scientific breakthroughs happened during the project itself, often under pressure and with little time. The project combined pure science with practical engineering and military needs. It showed how scientific knowledge could be transformed into something world-changing in just a few years. The secret science behind the atomic bomb is a story of human creativity, risk, and the power of discovery, even when the stakes were unimaginably high. So there you have it, 10 secret scientific facts about the atomic bomb that don't usually make it into history books or movies. From tiny particles and rare elements to perfect timing and huge chain reactions. The science behind this weapon is full of surprises. It's a story of discovery and invention mixed with challenges and risks. The atomic bomb changed the world forever, but it also pushed science in directions no one could have imagined before. If you found this interesting, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating stories 
about science and history. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.